This is... The pantry. Oh, hey Carlos, where's Junpei? No idea. He was already gone when I woke up. It's locked. Wait, did Junpei do this? You think he woke up first and then locked us in? It's been a long time since you've seen each other, right? Maybe now he's Zero's accomplice. That's not possible. The Junpei I know would never do something like that to us. Sorry. It was just one of the possibilities. Junpei... You know, this has been on my mind for a while. But what exactly is he to you, Akane? It's hard to believe that you two just knew each other in grade school. Junpei... He's very... Yes, he's very important to me. All my life, I've never really had many friends to call my own. That's surprising. I would have taken you as the type guys and girls all fawn over in Japan. Oh, you're very kind, thank you. But that's not exactly... Junpei always said... I was a girl who always said what shouldn't be said. I never found myself bullied or anything. But it still seemed as if people considered me something of an odd girl. Junpei was different. He told me he'd rush to my aid whenever I was troubled. Once, when we were young, I was crying over something and he faced the enemy alone. He sounds like he's a comic book hero. <laughs> yes. To me he is, at the very least. But this past year has completely changed him. Seems to me like he's the exact opposite now. If it was because of me somehow, then this time I need to rush to his aid. That's what I've decided anyway. You really like Junpei, don't you? What in the world are you saying, Carlos? I'm out of my depth when it comes to romance. My co-workers do always come to me with their stories, though. So I can tell. Just by looking, I can tell if someone's in love. Does that mean there isn't anyone like that for you? That important? There is. I love my little sister very much. She's a sunshine on my life. Oh, so a sister complex. Ha ha, you're horrible. Consider it payback for earlier. Now then, nothing will come from just sitting around here. How about we find a way out? Right. I bet you're eager to see your dearest love as soon as you can. Ah, oh, Carlos!
This is fake. Now announcing the current casualties. DT, Diana, Bai, Sigma, CT, Junpei. These four are now deceased. As a result, four X passes will be revealed. Blue, red, milk, jump. This room is locked. So, the one who killed Junpei is... Carlos? Hey, 
was to get that $500,000. If only I could save her. Just save Maria. It's all I wanted. And now... Reverie syndrome? Ah, huh. for example... Hmm. Say there's a PC with basic low-end components. If we played a number of videos all at once on it, what would happen? Processing speed slows down, of course. It's not much better than if the computer had froze. What's happening with your younger sister is similar. So you're saying this isn't carbon monoxide poisoning, but... Right. With Maria, her brain and nervous system seem to be perfectly fine. We couldn't figure out the cause until now. Other patients with the same symptoms began appearing recently. And they have. Reverie Syndrome. A variety of moments flicker in and out of the mind, as if one was constantly dreaming. That's why it's called the Daydream or Reverie Syndrome. There have been no complete recoveries as of yet. However, it seems with the newest medical technology, a few cases have been successful at relieving the symptoms. Then please, you must do the same for her. Does little Maria have insurance? You uh, do understand what's required for treatment, yes? If I did, she'll... Maria will... So that means I... I absolutely can't die here. That's why you killed Junpei, isn't it? What? What did you say? You figured you needed to kill someone to save your sister. And that's why you... Whoa, what, what are you talking about? Don't play dumb! Did you forget that you and I are the only ones in this ward? So it's obvious the killer is... Uh, it had to have been you, Carlos! Uh, Connie, calm down! I am calm! Uh, okay, you're right. I'm the only other one here. But I... Oh, no, it was definitely you who killed him! Wait, stop! You say that! You're the one who really did it. What did you say? You were the one who killed Junpei. And now, you're going totally nuts with that chainsaw. I don't believe this. No matter what, even if the world went topsy-turvy this very second, I'd... So, I'm going to be the next one to kill, huh? Two more people die, you can return to your darling little sister. Hey now, if you kill me, your probability of escape gets pretty high. What? Why'd she run away? Did she feel too threatened by me with the sacks? Think. Calmly, think it over again. Just like any other Code 3. Once 90 minutes are up, an injector in your brace with will activate. An anesthetic and an ancient or regional memories will be administered. Okay, so after we voted in 1530 and were hit with the anesthetic, we awoke in the pantry after 1800. It's four hours of time not accounted for. What was I doing during that time? Was I really sound asleep then, or... I just can't remember what happened because of the drugs I was given. Maybe Akane was right, and I... What? Blackout? No, Akane had run off towards control. It might be possible to turn off the lights there. 
So she did kill Junpei? And she's coming for me. Think calmly, rationally. Who is the most threatening person here right now? Whoever it was who killed Junpei. So what I need to do is remove that person. Even if it ends up being me. No! What the hell am I thinking? There's no way it could be me. So then... Then... Ah! There you are! Damn it. Just who did it? No. I didn't kill. Uh, Junpei. Uh, I'm sorry. I couldn't avenge you. Akane? I... I just killed...